Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. In today's video, we're going to do a golf livery on this Hot Wheels jerry rigged gasser. I've done a couple different versions of these in the past. My favorite is probably the Dunkin' Donuts one I did. The one we're working on today should end up real nice too, so maybe I'll have a new favorite after today. I'm gonna start mixing up a little bit of blue. We're pretty much going for the color of this paper towel, so that's gonna be pretty easy. Something like that's gonna be pretty close. I'm using a fairly bold orange in my golf design here. Let me show you. This is my whole decal package right here. The rest we're gonna do with paint. We're probably pretty close. That's a nice looking blue. It's kind of pale. Hard for you guys to see under the light. That's a little bit better. It's kind of a nice pale blue. Maybe I'll go just a tad more. There's a couple different styles of golf paint jobs I've seen out there. You know, there's darker ones, brighter ones. Some are more vibrant. I'm gonna just try to go for something in between. All of them, something kind of believable, so. Probably gonna start with something like that. That's a nice pale blue. So my plan is, is we're gonna paint this thing blue and then I'm gonna clear coat it. And then once that's dry, we'll bring it back over here and we'll start masking out all the little areas that are gonna be orange. I've installed a typical gasser wagon setup. I want to start doing some orange on top of this, but I got to give this a good scuff first. That's yeah, looking good. It's nicely scuffed, so I think we could start masking out some stripes. I'm going to start out with some 0.75 millimeter vinyl strips here. 
we found that gives us a nice crispy line maybe I'll lay one down the center just so I know where center is So I got our top kind of masked out here a little bit. I decided to terminate our stripe right at the front of our uh, firewall here. So under our hood will be a nice glossy blue and I'll try to detail up the radiator and our brake booster and stuff. So that looks pretty good. On the side all I plan to do is the bottom skirt in orange, including this little guy. And we're going to put a number on the door. I want it to look fairly clean on the side. I don't want to just mess it up with a bunch of decals. I might throw a couple on there, little odds and ends ones. We'll see how it goes. I have another four or five of these wagons. And you guys gave me a whole ton of different livery ideas. So I'm going to use some of them. And we're going to make some, some more gas or wagons. Because I love these things. I know some of you guys love them as well. So I'm going to have to darken up this orange just a smidgen with some of this red. So I'll probably just throw a couple drops in. Boop. Beep. Let's see how that looks. Just need to put that little bit of pizzazz into the orange, you know. I don't know how much more red I actually want to go. You guys can see this. And we're going to be able to make that work. Give this one final once over, make sure that all my tape is nicely seated. And I'll go meet you in the spray booth and we'll lay down some of this funky orange. Hell yeah. Beautiful. This is the first time I've ever done a golf livery, by the way. Click, click, click. I think it's going to look real nice. I'm going to go give this another little clear coat, just a real thin one, and I'm going to dry it real quick. Should take about 20 minutes, and I got to lay the white down for our graphics. So, this is pretty, uh, there's a lot of steps involved in this paint job, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Just to add another layer of detail here. I'm incorporating some 0.5 millimeter vinyls into the paint job. From what I've seen on these on these golf liveries, there's usually a pinstripe 
beside the orange and that's really gonna make things pop. As you can see, it's already making things pop. So I'm gonna leave these right on the paint job and I'm gonna clear coat over them before I do our white. So things are getting pretty intense. I gotta say that's looking pretty legit so far. Look at that thing. Hell yeah. All right. So I got numbers I wanna put on the doors, which are a smaller stencil. And then our big golf is our larger stencil. So maybe we'll do our big one first. Sorry, glass. I think somewhere around there is gonna look real good. I got her kind of offset to the front a bit. A little six millimeter number. I'll just get her nice and square on the door. looking pretty good. I wish I didn't leave quite as much of a white border around there. There's supposed to be a little one, but it's a little bit out of whack. It's not completely perfect, but still looks pretty darn good. Overall, the paint job on this one's going really well. I got a few more little decals I want to stick on here. All right, so I'm gonna give this a little bit of time to kind of dry for a bit and I'll do the final clear coat and then we'll do a reveal. I'm excited about this one. Here's the final result of our Golf Edition Nova Gasser Wagon. I think she turned out pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel. Please say hello in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. And just a reminder, patrons, please join the Discord channel. Patrons, please join the Discord channel. Thank you. That'll be all.